In the Finzi photo, how to create all kinds of halftone line effects easily. PC or Mac. In the Finzi photo, open an image. This one's an Adobe stock image. Once you've got this, what you can do, you can go to layer and duplicate. Maybe create two or three, five or six, up to you. But layer and duplicate. So now I've got three layers. Well, with these layers, I can change the blending mode. And I'm just gonna go here, instead of normal, I'm gonna go for multiply. So multiply and multiply. Don't have to change the bottom one. With this, I can now go to this one. And I can go to filters and colors and down to halftone. And for this purpose of this video, I'm gonna go with this one, line. So line, and I'm gonna set them all to 45. You could, of course, change the angles. You don't have to have the same angles, but I'm just gonna go for 45. I think 45 is nothing, to, especially since she's pointing upwards, pointing at 45 degrees, I should say. And you can change the cell size. So this one, I'm just gonna say, maybe go for, say, 40. So 40 for that one, and click apply. Then go to this one, and you can see straight away that thumbnails change, because at this point you can't see it because of the color. This one, I'm just gonna go to filters, and down to colors, and again, half tone. Quickly select this one again, the line, and set it to 45. And you can see straight away, you can get some dramatic effects just even with that. But let's just go to 45 now. And you can see slight change in the image. Now, this would be perfect to stop if you want color still being it. Perfectly reasonable. But you can vary again. You can just change it. Maybe try out different ones. You might think, you know what? That looks better. Just vary it. Maybe 60, 70, 83, and click apply. Now, to get the whole thing black and white, maybe a standard sort of half-tone black and white design. Just go to background there, and again, do exactly the same. So filters, down to colors, and half-tone. And in this case, you can again change it. You don't have to go with that. Not monochrome, I want line, so line, 45 degrees. And now, you've got this very dramatic effect. And again, you can vary the cell size. Maybe vary the contrast. You don't have to keep it the same, so just by changing that, creates a different design. Maybe go for 78, just make a record of each of them. Maybe in the first layer, go for 20, second layer, go for 40, and the next layer, 60, say, and then 80, and so on. And click apply. Now, I'm just gonna quit experiment. You can, of course, put 300 there. Why not? Don't have to, but maybe go for 200, so you get see slightly different results using that and then click apply. So instead of your usual line halftone effect, you've now got this lovely multi-line effect. A different design if you use different settings. Or use another angle. Or keep one the same color as before. Or perhaps use one with the angle slightly different. Or apply a blur in one of them. Or use one with a deform filter or invert one of the layers. Many different halftone line effects can be created. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Bye.